Good morning. Just finished my run today. Uh, it's 58 degrees out here, so nice cool morning. This is our first cool morning so far. Um, this fall, even though it's still late summer, had a, a cold front finally push through. The weather had been promising it uh, earlier this week, and then there's been all kinds of changes in that forecast. So I've been looking forward to this. Finally got here. Uh, nice, cool, brisk morning, 58 degrees. It was good stuff. Uh, got out there, got the run done today. Um, I think, uh, gosh, four miles. I just looked at it and can't even can't even remember it, but uh, four miles, like a 8, 15 pace, something like that in uh, 30, I think 33 minutes, 14 seconds. So uh, quite a bit faster than yesterday and several of my four mile runs, maybe the fastest one yet. I didn't go back that far to look, uh, but it was really good this morning. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was fighting a little bit in my head. Uh, the BA, the LB, were having a discussion about adding a third lap around the park, which would add about another mile and a half, uh, get me up around five and a half miles or so. And uh, We'll say the LB won that argument, um, made, made some good points that I should have combated, but um, one one little problem that I had, one little challenge is my sock, where uh, like no-show socks, and my right sock, um, it happens quite a bit, but my sock kind of pushed down lower into my shoe, so it started to get a rub on my heel. So that was one of the things, and then time, and uh, is today the right day or not? I should have done it, dadgummit. I should have done it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Maybe some more distance being added soon. Talked yesterday or in my last video about uh, maybe changing things up a little bit on Saturdays as well, doing some street running, maybe more distance on Saturdays and uh, just trying to mix it up a little bit more so I'm not doing the same run, same distance, same track every single day. Uh, one of the things I really, really love about running is just the way that it forges mental toughness. Forges mental toughness. Think about that for a second. Um, running requires mental toughness uh, even this morning you know just for me running every day day in day out doing this now for several months um, getting my time and my distance and all of that up uh, mental toughness kicked in you know nice and cool out here this morning really feeling good um, breathing wasn't as difficult as it has been and uh, you know sometimes it can be real easy to just kind of um, coast into a certain mindset, you know, kind of put it in cruise control and just kind of chill and take it easy. And uh, mental toughness really had to kick in. We can call that the BA voice or whatever, but uh, mental toughness. And so um, if you look at my splits in the first part of this video, um, my, my times were kind of up and down from mile to mile. And a big part of that was just, uh, especially in that last uh, mile, the, the fourth mile, uh, just knowing, hey, I've got a lot more in the tank. I need to really push myself here and not just coast it out, not just get it done, um, but really strive for excellence and, and push myself to get better. Uh, when you're first starting out running, um, it, it takes a lot of mental toughness. There's going to be a lot of pain. There's going to be a lot of doubt. There's going to be a lot of um, uncertainty even a lack of self-confidence, there's gonna be a lot of excuses and it takes nothing but mental toughness to push through that. Uh, when you start talking about going faster and further, mental toughness, and uh, you know, so think about that. Think about that, mental toughness. If, if I were to rate myself on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being I'm as mentally tough as someone as crazy as David Goggins and uh, a level one is I have absolutely no mental toughness. I'm, I'm, I'm very weak, I can't do anything, weak-minded. Where would you fall in that scale? Um, mental toughness and then what can you do to strengthen that to to push yourself to get better and, and to get stronger running is a great physical mental and spiritual exercise and the mental side of it is always pushing and driving for mental toughness and then that mental toughness just like other things with running that mental toughness will carry over it will spill over into other aspects of our life uh, anytime we face something difficult or hard um, if we have been constantly forging that mental toughness uh, then we will start to embrace the, the difficult things, embrace the hard things, get the hard things done, uh, not shy away from them, not be afraid of them, and, and sometimes even enjoy doing hard things. You know, one of my big philosophies is things that I don't want to do are the things that I need to be doing. That's mental toughness. Mental toughness says get it done, do it. You might not like it, but do it. And guess what? You're going to learn to enjoy it. You're going to learn to learn to enjoy doing difficult things, doing hard things. That's mental toughness. Go get it done today. It's all good stuff. Keep the BA. God bless.